I think people put way too much emphasis on team trophies when we're discussing individual awards like the Ballon d'Or. Don't get it twisted. Team trophies are incredibly important. At the end of the day, you play this game to win and to accumulate as many trophies and accolades as you possibly can. But when we're discussing something like the Ballon d'Or, it should always be about individual brilliance first and then team awards second. That's how it used to be. Team trophies used to be essentially a tiebreaker to differentiate between Messi and Ronaldo because they were both putting up such alien-like statistics. You would look at the two of them and go, okay, they both scored 50 goals. Let's see who won the most in the season and use that as a way to differentiate to see who would win the award. But in the past few years, I think mostly due to voters fatigue of people being tired of Messi and Ronaldo dominating the podium, they've tried to push an agenda for players to be in the conversation, to be in the best in the world, when in reality they were just good players on teams that won a lot. A prime example is Jorginho in 2021. He was in the top three rankings for the Ballon d'Or and he had absolutely no business being there. He just happened to be a player on a Chelsea team that won the Champions League and an Italy team that won the Euros. Now, he was impactful, but when you're not even the best player at your club or the best player on your international team, how can you possibly be in the conversation for the best player in the world? And that's exactly what happened. On Chelsea, I would say N'Golo Conte was the best player that year, especially with how impactful he was in that Champions League run. And then for Italy, it most certainly was not Jorginho. You could have given it to pretty much any other player, Marco Verratti, anybody you can name was arguably better than Jorginho. Another example would be Wesley Schneider in 2010. Wesley Schneider was incredibly impactful for Inter in that treble winning season and for the Netherlands reaching the World Cup. But once again, it's a question of was he unanimously the best player on Inter Milan or the best player on the Netherlands? No. And as a result, I don't really see how he could be seen as the best player in the world. In that Inter Milan team, Diego Melito was as impactful, if not more, for that Champions League campaign and how well he played in Serie A. And the same thing can be said about Robin for the Netherlands team. I'm not saying that Schneider didn't deserve to be seen as a great player or that it wasn't him leading the way for both club and country. I just think the guy has to unanimously be the best player for both club and country, and then we can start looking at him and comparing him to the other best players in the world. As good of a season as he had with the team trophies he accumulated and with taking Netherlands to the World Cup final, he was not better than Messi in that season. He was not better than Cristiano Ronaldo that season. He wasn't even better than Iniesta and Xavi in that season. So I just think it's very unfair when people come in and say that the Ballon d'Or is rigged and that Schneider should have won. I just don't think he was at the level of the other guys, even though he had a successful season in terms of the trophies that he accumulated. Another example is Franck Ribéry in 2013. Franck Ribéry was an excellent player. And had he played during another era where Ronaldo and Messi weren't there, he probably would have won a Ballon d'Or as well. As good as he was for a Bayern team that dominated domestically, once again, he was just not at the level that Cristiano Ronaldo and Messi were at. And I understand that it's hard to see. I mean, you look at the best player on the best team and you automatically assume he should have won it. But he just wasn't as good. If you replace Ribéry with Ronaldo or Messi on that Bayern team, they would have still had the same achievements, if not more. At the end of the day, there's going to be players that are very good who don't make it as Ballon d'Or winners. And there's nothing wrong with that. The reason I don't want people focusing too much on team trophies is because it's a team-oriented effort. Too many people think individual greatness can just carry you to glory, whether it's the Champions League, whether it's the World Cup, and it's just not true. Great players can show up in big moments. You can carry a team in a certain moment or a certain game, but throughout an entire campaign, you need an elite side around you. Perfect example is Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo is seen as the greatest player in Champions League history. He's called Mr. UCL. But he didn't win those trophies at Real Madrid by just carrying them. He carried them at moments, but they were able to achieve European success because they put an elite side around Cristiano Ronaldo, who is an elite player. And this was proven by the fact that when Ronaldo went to Juventus, he put out some iconic performances like that uh, hat-trick against Atletico Madrid. But he was never able to push Juventus over to the finish line because the team around him wasn't elite enough. He was able to have success with Manchester United and Real Madrid because you have a player of greatness of Ronaldo's caliber and then you put an excellent supporting cast around him. And this was, again, further proven by the fact that after Ronaldo left, Real Madrid still got to a Champions League semifinal and... They won another Champions League. It's the same thing with Messi. Messi almost tried to carry Barcelona in that 2018-2019 season, but he can't do it alone if the rest of the team isn't up to par. The times that Barcelona and Messi were able to win the Champions League was when, Bar when Messi was surrounded by an elite Barcelona side. If the players around him aren't elite enough, 
they won't be able to get to Champions League greatness because the competition is too tough and the margins are too small for one player to carry you to European greatness. 